Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are on my Japanese sprinkle inspired island bloom and we're going to be building Shino's house. Now I know I mentioned in my last video which was the area towards my house that I'd already built some of Shino's but I've actually finished it now so I could put all the pieces together, edit it and there was a reason for that I'll explain in just a second but before we get started don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Come join the Jellybean family now let's get started with today's build. So yeah, you can see the area behind Shino's house above on the terraforming isn't decorated yet, but I have actually decorated that because I did it in my last video, but I couldn't finish decorating Shino's area because I really wanted to incorporate the beach on this build. And as you can see, there are buildings on the beach. So I had to do a load of terraforming, move a lot of buildings around before I was able to actually finish this build. So yeah, I didn't really think that one through, did I? <laughs> Didn't think it through at all. So because of that, we are starting on the land area first. So we're just doing a pathway that leads from that Zen bridge and leaning it towards where Shino's house is. Now, Shino's house has been there for a long time. I haven't actually moved it and I really liked where it was. So we don't need to place our house in this video because I just liked where it was anyway. So it's all good. Now that Zen bridge does lead over from Nook's Granny and then the incline that you can see there also leads over to the area that I built in my last video. So if you haven't seen that video, please do go check it out. It was quite a big build. I loved it, it was super fun. It was kind of like a transition area and a walkway area towards my actual resident rep's house. So yeah, go check it out. Definitely go check out the whole series actually. We've done quite a few builds on this island now. Now I'd probably say we are towards the halfway mark of finishing the island which is super exciting. I think I said that before though, I don't know. I think before I said I was nearly at the halfway mark or I feel like I'm pretty much there. I don't know, but now I feel like I'm definitely at the halfway mark. <laughs> I feel like we have half the island left to build. We also have this issue to deal with in today's video. She just don't wanna move. She don't wanna move. Look at her, she is stubborn. She know why. Okay, so I have to talk to her to make her move, but I think you have to talk to her like three times before she'll move, but there you go. Anyway, she decided to sit down there instead, but at least I could put the tree there, so that's the main thing. Oh, actually, she's leaving the area. It's all good. We can work there nice and easily now, but oh no, please no, please no. Gail, 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 why, why do this? Why do they do this? There is rivers everywhere on this island. There's so many. Go, go fish somewhere else. There's even the ocean. And then she sits. Thank you, Gal. Thank you so much. So while we are working around the villagers and what they want to do, um, you know, not being able to build in certain areas, we're gonna have to wait for Gail to move. I think she's actually fell asleep now. Yeah, she's fell asleep, okay. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna carry on this pathway. We're gonna decorate around here, of course. Going to use the pine trees. I love the pine trees. Also, I think I'm gonna take the decision to not do Happy Home Paradise. So we won't be decorating the interiors of the villager houses for this island this time, just because honestly, it takes such a long time for me to even speed run through HHP that I don't know. I just feel like I haven't got it in me for this island this time. <laughs> I really don't. Like I've done quite a few islands and I have only decorated some of the houses on those islands, but I don't think I'm going to do it for this one. I think I'm going to opt out and not sit through Happy Home Paradise <laughs> and speed run it. Maybe for the next islands we might, I don't know. I haven't decided. Unless I have some real inspiration to decorate the interiors of the villager houses, I think I'm going to leave it for certain islands and this is going to be one of them I'm afraid, so I'm so sorry if you were looking forward to the house builds. Oh! Gail, Gail was thinking now. Okay, so one minute she's fishing, one minute she's snoozing, and now she's thinking, I don't know, is she gonna leave? I don't want her to leave. She's a permanent villager. Please don't leave. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna leave her to think. She can think. Think on the beach. I don't know, but she won't leave anyway. Oh, by the way, not featured in this video, but now in real time, in real life time, I've actually finished scanning all the villagers in for this island. So super, super excited. We can finally start working on maybe a little neighborhood in a future video, maybe like the next one or the one after, I don't know. And yeah, so that'd be super fun. I don't actually plan my videos too much. I kind of just build and then release them as is. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know what's gonna be next. Maybe maybe the villager house build, maybe Able Sisters. Who knows? Who knows? Even I don't know. So I have this little area next to Shino's house and just behind here. So we're just gonna pretty much decorate it pretty simply. We're gonna do some vertical board fencing. We're gonna use some trees, some pine trees, and then I think a nice little swinging bench next to her house will look so cute. And I'm hoping that she'll sit there at some point and I'll be able to record it or catch it on a photo or just see it in general. That would be nice. I love it when the villagers sit on the little areas that you've made for them next to their house or just like little areas that you've made around the island. I think it's so, so adorable. 
I just wish there was so much more interaction with the villagers. So I wish like they actually did other stuff. So take that little karaoke machine for instance there or the guitar. I wish they actually like picked it up and played it or actually started singing with a mic or something. You know, something like that. I mean, I know probably the Switch isn't capable of handling all that sort of stuff as well as letting us freely decorate. But maybe in the future on a more powerful console, maybe they'll do something like that. And we can all just freak out at how cute and amazing the little villagers look with their little microphone, singing karaoke or playing a guitar and just being adorable, basically. But anyway, we've finished the land part of this build now. So we're going to make a start on the beach. So I didn't really know too much about what I wanted to do on the beach. I know I want to make it quite natural, but I also wanted to fill it with trees, but they weren't coconut trees. So do you know what we had to do? We had to use the pine trees because the other trees don't go on the beach for some reason. Like I swear they go on the beach and on the sand in Happy Home Paradise. So why can't we do that on our beaches on our actual island? I don't know. Or can we not do that on Happy Home Paradise? Am I thinking of the bushes? I don't know because I know you can put bushes on sand in Happy Home Paradise but you can't put bushes on sand on your own island. Which makes me so sad because I really wish I could. Um, but it's okay. At least we can put custom codes on the floor on the beach. Because can you imagine if we can put custom codes on the floor on the beach? I don't know what I'd do. I think I'd just ignore the beaches completely on every single island. I'd be like, nope. Refuse to do it. Refuse to do anything of it. Like, can you imagine not being able to use a cute quilt code on the beach? Or a wood code? We'd never have any like docks or boardwalks. We'd never have any cute picnic areas on the beach. It would be so sad so so sad so i'm so grateful that we can do the codes but please let us put more stuff on the beach like bushes at least bushes please 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 and while we are on that note about talking about codes all the codes that i'm using in today's video can be found listed in the description down below so if you'd see any you'd like to use on your island you'll find the ma's down there along with some of the socials that i could find of creators as well so please do go check them out and give them some love on their amazing designs now over here i didn't know what to fill on this area so we're just doing the old gazebo simple panel trick and it makes it look cute i think i am going to be filling this beach with flowers as well but i'm going to do that like cut that bit out so you don't have to see that because that bit's not very exciting you you know watching me place flowers i feel like it's not exciting so yeah i won't be leaving that bit in but you'll see the flowers at the end now i just need to do a little bit more decorating around the beach because it's still a little bit too plain i know i was like oh i want to keep it natural but here i am placing furniture <laughs> no it's okay we'll just pretend this was a lovely natural pretty looking beach but shino has taken over and she's like i want a table where i can sit and eat outside and have some tea i want a picnic area on this cherry blossom pile i want everything to look cute and she just made it look cute okay that's that's the story <laughs> that's the, that's the story of this area so i feel like it still looked plain so we're gonna add even more pine trees i need so many more of these i'm gonna have to grab a load from a treasure island again <laughs> I love them. I've used them so much. I don't even know. Even in this one build, I think I've used like five or six. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious how many at the end of this island, when I finish this island, how many in total am I going to use? How many pine trees? I'm not going to count them. If someone wants to count them at the end, they are more than welcome to, but please tell me your results <laughs> because I'm not planning on counting them myself. So before we start adding some flowers, I just want to place a few more last minute items down and I decided to use some of the vases and we also got the pot item as well, which is a DIY, just to put a little bit more extra into this area. And then once we've done that, you can see some of the flowers, but there we have it, we finished the build today, so it's time to have a look around at what we've done. And there we have it, we finished today's build. So I'm really happy with how this came out and I'm happy with the little bit of beach that I did as well. Not too sure if what I'm gonna do or if I'm gonna do the rest of the beaches, we'll find out, I don't know. But I hope everyone enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Come join the Jelly Bean family. I hope you have the loveliest of days everyone and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.